Here, boss. Here, boss. It's called a mixed breed commercial, which means just plain old cow, but uh, she's the oldest, one of the first ones we bought. She's a great grandma. What's her name? Well, you don't name her Roxanne because, see, after a while. Hey, oh, go on. Did I show you the barn last time? Alright, Elena, get some ice and um, call the doctor. Wayne, do this? <laughs> he coming through the window. Did you call the police? Don. Oh, sweetie, come on, isn't this what you want? <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Hello? It's the police. Your daughter's been raped and murdered. Again. The curfew is four o'clock. You're an hour late. Again. Yeah. Makes you wonder. Okay, Delsa, you do your homework. homework. There's cookies in the Cover. cupboard. And I'm gonna be late. I'm sorry, honey. There's things. Tattoo's the body yard. What can I do for you? You should have seen it when we moved in. There was junk everywhere. Rats as big as footballs, and the whole building was tilted. It still is. It is? Wow! <gasps> Ta-da! <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> you want to change your mind about moving in? Because this is what I do all day. <laughs> Can I try it? Sure. No. No. <laughs> Sweetie, why don't you go finish unpacking? Yeah, right. <laughs> you scared me. Well, you should be scared. It's a big step. I like it here. I like you. I liked you the first time I saw you at the museum. Staring at the nudes. Studying the brush strokes. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I'm not worried about anything. It's gonna be good for us here. I know it. Mm. Welcome to Idaho. Welcome to Idaho. Delcy? Oh, come on. Delcy, what? Oh, my God. Somebody bench me, because this is a freaking nightmare. All right, that's it. Get off. No, wait, you're here. Why don't you get one, too? Dulcie, get down. Wait, what do you have Get for, off the like, table. A middle-aged woman who hasn't had a man in ten years. Dulcie! No, wait, I've got it. How about a big, fat bitch you can put on her big, fat ass? More turtle! Cut him off. Yes, that's our family pet. <laughs> oh, my God. That's <laughs> Steven, it's Angela. I'm embarrassed. I can't believe you brought this. Well, how are you? Oh, she's really done it this time. Uh, I'm fine, thanks for asking. Steven, this is not just my problem, all right? This is our problem. All right, Angela, what'd she do? Oh, you'll see when we get out there. Get? Well, school's over in a week, and I thought that, uh... I thought maybe we'd, um... Well, maybe I, I would drive her out and, and leave her with you for the summer. You're coming? Well, I thought, I don't know, if I drove her, that we could talk and we could... You know, the thing is... I hit her. What? I can't hear you. Do you, do you not want her to come, Stephen? Well, of course I do. I love her, Angela. Good. Oh, done. Okay. So, um, we'll be out then on the, uh, on the 23rd, sometime after dinner. So between 
say seven and seven oh three. Though I can only stay till the weekend, I have yeah, to come back. Yeah, but it's just I have someone. What? Someone's moving in with me, a woman. Well, we've uh, been divorced for ten years, Stephen. So if no, I just thought you should know. Thanks. So there wouldn't be any. Yeah, thank you. And she has a daughter, too, a um, couple months younger than Dulcie. Oh well, as 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 luck would have it, huh? <laughs> as luck would have it. Anyway, I don't know how Dulcie feels about a summer on the farm, but I think it's great. Well, she hates it, Stephen. She hates everything. Be warned. Right side or left? Don't let this Angela thing bother you. Of all the times for her to call... Did you tell her about us? Sure. But it's none of her business anyway. We're divorced. I know you told me. Yeah, so... But you didn't tell me why. How about when it's not our first night and I put on my best sweatpants? Why? We used to... Look at these real estate catalogs, you know? Um, country places. Um, no special reason, but I don't know. This place seemed... See, it was just supposed to be for a few years. That was the deal, and then we'd go back to the city and she'd get her law degree, and... I don't know. Something happened to me. I just... I couldn't leave. I felt I owed the cows. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's silly. Uh, then it all just kind of... You had to ask. No, no, it's, it's... It's fine, I wanted to know. Wow. I bet that's the only night gown in the entire county that isn't flannel. <laughs> the left side. Well, it's a very long day to the farm. What do you want to talk about? about the way you're ruining my life by making me spend the summer in cow dung, Idaho. You know what the license plates say? Famous potatoes. Famous freaking potatoes, Mom. You'll survive. I'll miss everything. I'll come back and no one will remember me. We can only hope. There was an Arby's right by the exit. But just make sure you file the papers with Judge Nussbaum, okay? Nobody else. Now, the uh, Don McAllister thing. I don't know, just do whatever follow-up. What did you do to your hair? It was dirty. You washed dirty hair. You wouldn't let me take a shower this morning. This is what you get. You wouldn't wake up. I called you ten times. It's my hair! lives if we'd stayed here. We'd be totally different people. 
Hmm? No, it makes me nervous coming back. You know what I wish? Sometimes I wish. Here we are. Angela, hi. hi. Uh, I'm afraid the couch is all we have left. No, that's fine. Oh, and Dulcie, your room is just... You, you know that. Sorry. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll talk tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh... Fixing up a barbecue tomorrow while the men folks are out, you know, cutting the wheat. Hey. hey. That's hay. Well. That's right. <laughs> hay for the cow. <sighs> okay, good night. You sure this whole thing's gonna be? Yeah. No, it's fine, it's fine. Hi, Henrietta. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, it's been a long time. Oh my God, it's good to see you. You look good. Yeah, so do you. A little thin. <laughs> oh. Hey, Asa. Look at her. Oh, nice, to nice to see you. See you. Oh, this isn't Will, is it? It is. Yeah. It's the boy. <sighs> Hi, Will. Uh, Will the weed. <laughs> Mark and I. Yeah, a church group. Well, it's, uh, it's all ready, everybody. Come right. dig in. Um, Angela helped. Well, <laughs> where's little Miss Dulcie? I haven't seen her in... Dulcie! Does this bring yes. back memories? Oh, does it? We had the two families, the Roberts. And the Wolverts. <laughs> We'd barbecue out the whole bunch of us after the day's work. Oh, and all the kids were to home. Mm -hmm. Now it's only Will left. But, but he's decided on farming. He says, did, did you know that? Oh, you must be happy. <laughs> yes. Praise the Lord. Praise <laughs> him. But only he knows who'll be left on this road by the time Will takes uh -huh. over. I mean, all the young ones are gone anymore. And uh -huh. Did you see when you were coming on in? Folks are moving up from the city, buying a couple of acres. No intention of farming. And those acreage people... You can't neighbor with them. Nope. Dear Lord, we thank you for this bounty, and especially for bringing old friends back to us on this beautiful day. Amen. 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 What about ants? No ants in Idaho, Dolly. You know that. <laughs> Come on, say hello. You remember Mr. and Mrs. Coffee? Dulcie, let me get you something. Ah! Oh, Weenies. So what am I going to do here all summer? Oh, well, Will's uh, church social group has the kids your age. Uh, there's a water slide over in Meridian that is... Chores. Pass. I won't do anything with cows. Um, why not? Their heads are way too big. I mean, come on. <laughs> are you capable of speech? Stop it. Well, you forget how beautiful it is here. Then why don't you spend the summer? It's your home, Dulcie. This is not my home. It's 
First house she ever lived in. The only house until... Until she left you? Stop. How, how, how is everybody doing? Can I get you anything? No, it's all wonderful. Really. And why do you still have that thing? I mean, it's not like anybody's ever going to use it again. Not supposed to use it. It's a sculpture. You got it for me out of the Sears catalog. I remember. You used to push me. Yeah, when you were little and human. This is the same tea I bought 15 years ago, isn't it? I guess. You've never used any of it? You never bought any new ones? I guess not. It's pathetic, Stephen. I take it you can't sleep. I'm leaving in the morning. You don't have to. Well, I think that Leah may disagree with that, but... But you haven't even walked around the place. Don't you want to see all the changes? But now? Okay. I have a plan to improve the herd. I'm going to bring in a big Simmental bull that the Leesons have. Yeah. Maybe I'll breed them all up to purebred, take them around to state fairs, and make a fortune. Are you, um... I mean, you know, is it... it you think it's going to be hard financially what? to no. have Dulcie here? Because I can send money. I don't need it. Well, I know, but you can always I use a little bit... I don't need your money, Angela. Got it. Good. Gee, feels just like old times, doesn't it? There were some good old times here, too. You're a million miles away, so it's easy to forget, but I'm still here. I see places and things every day, and I remember. We had some good years here. I know that. What do you think, Steve, that I would... Wait, do you think I forget that? I remember all the years, every one, and they were the best. They were. The best years were here. Yeah. Wait. Dulcie. She screwed up, she hates you, she's flunking out of school, wouldn't I miss? It's just that I'm, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm giving her to you and running away, and it's not fair. Because she's going to ruin your relationship with, you know, what's her name, but I'm doing it anyway because I don't want to see her anymore. I don't want to see my own daughter. How do you like that? So I'm, uh, Do you think so? Maybe. Yeah, don't count on it. Well, bye, Leah. Bye. Thanks so much. Nice, nice to meet you, nice Roxanne. To meet you. Have a nice summer. You, you too. Okay. Okay. All right. You want something? 
Okay. I'll give you something. You hungry? Is that it? Huh? Is that it? Are you hungry? Easy. Here. That's it. That's it. Drink. Drink, you ugly jug-headed freak. Butcher. I don't like the looks of her. Could be hardware, but she hasn't bred in a while. You can't keep an open cow. Costs too much in feed. You hate to lose them, especially her. But I get 600 bucks from the butcher if she's alive and zero from the rendering works if she just happens to keel over one day, so. What's the rendering works? It's where they turn them into soap. It's a business, baby. Hey, you want to come with me? We could all go. We'll have lunch after. Boring. Wait, why doesn't he have cable? No cable, no mall. Or, or a McDonald's. Or a Burger King, or a Taco Bell. Wendy's. Dominoes. Girls, would you please stop complaining? All you've done since we've got here is sit on your rear ends and complain every week. Are you mocking me? You do not mock your mother. Now listen, I... Oh, what? Look, hold on. Stay here. Rope broke. It, stay back, it's dangerous here. I gotta get her tied off. Got her in real good. She won't get loose. All right. Apologize to Leah. I don't care if you are crazy. You will apologize for what you did. Screw you, Leah. One more favor? Would you take her home? Yeah. I still gotta get the cow. Good. Okay. You know, um, I'll go with you. You don't have to. Mom, I'm just gonna go home, okay? Hey, but we won't get to see him kill the cow.
Where's Delcy? In her room. Mrs. O'Dell, Stephen, uh, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna take the girls to the movies tonight. Huh. Um. Well, what time would you have them back? Anytime you say. Uh, Stephen, do you? I have to go talk to Delcy. Oh. Steven. Angela. Oh, man. What? what? What's the matter? You better talk to Dulcie. Why? Dulcie! Oh. Phone! Steven. Hello. Dulcie, what's the matter? I hate it here. <laughs> Nothing new, you mean. I want to come home. Honey, only two more months and... There's a flight tonight. I can... I can be home by seven. If I leave now, I'll hitch to the airport, all right? Dulcie, honey, wait a minute. It, 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 it's just new, that's all. No, you don't. Let me come home, mommy. You, Sweetheart, you won't listen. even know I'm there, all right? I won't make any trouble. No, listen, your dad loves I'll, I'll you. I'll be better, I'll be better. Okay, just no, he home. loves you. And if so you if let me come home, I promise I will be better. If you're feeling sad, you talk to your father, okay? I'll be better, mommy, please. Please just let me come home, mommy. Please. Please. I'm sorry, baby. You can't come home. <laughs> Drop dead. Will said he's coming over? Is that a question? Are you asking me? And, um, if you want, I, I could cut your hair. I'm, I'm pretty good. like an insane bag lady anymore. How'd you do that? Oh, God. All right, that took a whole half hour out of my hideous, wasted life. Now what? The movies change tomorrow? I don't want to watch anything. I want to do something. I want to drive something. I want to steal something. Um, I have a church group. You guys could come with me. <laughs> it's not that bad. There's usually good food. It could be fun. Forget it. I'd rather have my nipples pierced. They come in from the fields, you know. Mm -hmm. They just kind of run around. Mm -hmm. Spread disease. Nothing fatal. I am not afraid. But I'm sorry. I mean, the kids are gone. The wine is chilled. The Monopoly game's set up. That's going to be a hell of a night. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I told you I like it here. Still? Mm -hmm. Even with the daughter from the Black Lagoon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. With everything. I'm happy, Stephen. I'm happy with you. Good. That's good. Mm. Okay. Okay. It's got a vacuum meter for, for spacing out the seeds. Now, you can drive up to 15 miles an hour and it will still space out the seeds perfectly. The way we used to have to do it was get down off the tractor, dig down, see how deep the kernel was. Now, science has made life easier for me and him. <laughs> now it's time for some refreshments. Thanks, that was a real treat. I thought it was interesting, sort of. Is there any chance they'd play some music? Roxanne, I could dance. 
Our church doesn't really encourage dancing. Why? They say it's a prelude to intercourse. <laughs> I'm not saying I agree. What a rebel. He's saying stuff about me? He says you're gay. What? Me? Get me out of here or I'm going to freak out. I got a truck. Who don't? It's this way. So they drained this thing a few years ago, and they found the whole bottom just covered with cars. Really? Yeah. Nobody even knew they were down there. Were there any bodies? Hey, hey, wait, it's not much of a swimming hole, you know. I got gear in the truck, though, if you want to go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Is he kidding? <laughs> It's a phoenix, Beefheart. Rises from the dead. Just like me. Hey, hey, don't go too far out. It's deep. Then come and save me. I, I can't. I've got my dress pants on. <laughs> Candy boy! Candy boy! Candy boy! Candy boy! Candy boy! Hey! Are you guys doing it or something? Come on! Come on! Guys! Tractor or what? Floor. Oh, uh. you work too hard. You know what? Mm. I want you to relax tonight. Mm. I'll take care of everything. I will mm. feed you. Mm. I will tuck you into bed. Oh, will you? Oh, I will. <laughs> I will. Mm. Hi. Hi. Uh, Sorry. Hi. Oh. Bye. Uh, bye. Dulcie, the boys are here. She's not here. She went out with Tony a couple hours ago. We are alone. Uh, 
You mean they're not all going out together? I don't know. You think Dolphy tells me anything? Does Roxy tell you anything? She always did before we came here. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Stephen, I know Dulce has problems, and I, I feel sorry for her. Yeah. You know that, but... But this is about Will. But I don't want her problems to become Roxy's problems. She's going through a rough time. Give her a break. That's what you do. And you want to know what else you do? I have a choice. You laugh at her jokes. That's it. That's the extent of your parenting. Well, I think she's funny. She's naming the cows. Well, that's good. Isn't that good? And so far, she's got knocked up, humper, and fart. <laughs> Roxanne, listen. Yeah, and pretty soon she'll be smoking crack just to be like Dulcie. I hate that, Stephen. But it's okay to slam my daughter. Dulcie needs a firm hand. Come on, don't give me curfews and grounding. Angela did that. Yeah. Well, I'm not Angela. Hmm. Ah. Hey, what's the matter, man? You're supposed to help with the wood, too, you know? This is gonna be a pitiful fire. Secret. I think I'm. I think I'm pregnant. What did you say? Uh, we we bought a. Let's test thing. Can you help me? Yeah, sure. Just pee on it. That's all. I mean, if it turns blue, then. Okay. What is going on? Take a hike. No. We're not ashamed. It speaks. You tell him. She thinks she's knocked up. With child? No, with calf. Come with me. She's gonna have a baby? I hope so. You hope so? This is the best news I have ever heard in my entire life. Oh, I love you. I want you to have a child. I want you to be my wife. You're crazier than me. First of all, I, I want to tell you that, that I've been born again. Uh, um, well, you're half Jewish, Roxanne. It's all, it's all in faith in God. And, um, and second, I'm gonna have Will's baby. We're gonna get married. They're in love. Ever heard of it? <clears throat> Go home, Will. I want him to stay. Go home. We don't even have a doctor. We don't even have a doctor here. Um, not that I would let a doctor here touch her. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to go back to Seattle. We're gonna have to call Shepard because 
Nobody but Shepard is going to give my baby an abortion. I'm not getting an abortion. Yes, you are. And you are not getting married. And you are not born again. What do you think? She was, like, brainwashed by a cult? She actually wants to get married and have a baby and stay here in Cowville, which I wouldn't do if you took my liver out. Shut up! For once, this is not about you. This is my baby's life. And you have nothing to do with it. Don't. I want to be alone with my daughter. Now. I should be there. I told Rox I'd be there. What do you think Lee is doing to her? She is reminding her, I would guess, that she was only 17 when Roxanne was born. Really? And that she didn't finish high school or go to college. And maybe that's why she wants a better life for her daughter. Help me with the nails. I hate nails. Anyway, what she wants isn't the point. Her parents didn't want her to get knocked up, but she did. You should just let a person do what they want to do. Not if they're 16, you shouldn't. Well, people used to get married when they were like 10. Yeah, and they used to die when they were like 18. Well, how old were you guys when you got married? A lot older. See? Your marriage was still a flop. It wasn't a flop. We had some good years together. We had you. Your bad luck. They're the best years of my life. Well, then you should just leave Will and Rox alone. Maybe they'll get a divorce, but they can still have some good years, too. And they'll still have the baby. Is Leah sorry she had Rox? I'm sure she isn't. And are you sorry you had me? Every day. Very smart, you know that. Of course, you're wrong, <laughs> but you're very smart. Steven, you need some help? I could use some help with the bailer. If you hear about Roxy, you'll have to talk to the man of the family. Leah, well, I was just. Oh. Yeah, right. Wish I could see the joke in it. Not her broke. Keeps kicking out loose bales. Well, it's always something. Steven, I hate to come to you about this, and, and I ain't here to apologize about Will. He knows what he done is a sin. But we believe that love is so strong it should be celebrated, no matter the circumstance. I know you got different ideas, and I never once tried to turn you to our way. But I'm asking you now, as a friend, to put yourself in my shoes and imagine what you'd feel like if someone came to you and said, we're going to kill your grandchild. Because that's what abortion means to us. I tell you, Stephen, it just wrenches my heart. I'm sorry, Asa. I really am. But I can't help you. Leah is Roxy's mother. She's got the power in this one. So Roxy's not going to have the baby. And she's not going to get married. And that's... That's the way it is. Well, I don't know, Steve. But I believe that it's God that's got the power in this one. When you're ready to hay that field, you let me know. Hmm? Hello? Are you sitting down? Dulcie. No, what? believe it or not. Roxanne is pregnant with Will Coffey's baby. They're getting married on Labor Day. Oh, you're kidding. God's been busy. Who? Oh? Hey, Dulcie is the maid of honor and the godmother. <laughs> She's the godmother? 
Well, out this way, it's not so funny. No, no, of course, I'm sorry I wasn't... <laughs> so, um, oh, how's poor Leah? Not good. I can't believe she's allowing Roxanne to do this. Well, I think it came down to letting it happen or losing her daughter. Yeah. So, um, are you, um, I mean, are, are you two okay? No. This isn't Dulcie's fault, is it? No. It has nothing to do with Dulcie. Oh, that's good. Yeah, she's fine. I miss her. Well, she'll be flying back right after the wedding. I could come out. What? Or, you know, I, I don't know. I just... Well, you want to come out for Roxanne's wedding? Well... I think that'd be great. You do? Yeah. Because, you know, then I can just drive her back and there's no planes, no tickets. Sure. You tell Dulcie. Don't worry about Dulcie. It sucks. It's a very generous offer. Dad, it's the 21st century. They have airplanes now. Well, tickets ain't cheap. I'm pretty low, Dulce. I mean, the wedding and... Me? Absolutely. You've been nothing but trouble and money. But bear with her, Dulce. She loves you. She wants you home. I mean, I'm gonna miss you, but... Right. No. I wish you could stay. I like having a daughter again. You do want to go home, don't you? Well... But I'll miss the manure festival. me staying here this time. I just, uh, last time was so tough and I thought Leah was, she's not with you. No. Another perfect day on the farm. I think she's stuck. Oh yeah. She's stuck real good. I can't leave her. I'm sorry. You know where the church is? Farmer. Uh-huh. You're gonna ruin your good clothes. 
Okay, easy girl. Her name is Sylvia. You're naming them now? Uh, no, the girls did. Dulcie said once they learn their names, we can teach them tricks. You ready? Come on, push. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Well, push. I am pushing. Come on, Sylvia. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh. Oh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ready? Okay. Again. Okay. Oh. Just walk right off like nothing happened, you dumb. <laughs> Here. Okay. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> It's an old dress. Oh, uh. Talk about dumb. <laughs> I miss the wedding for a cow. Well, I told everyone what you were doing, and Asa said, oh, bless him. Yeah. How was it? It was beautiful. It was huh. just... Oh, I wish you could have seen Delcy. She was... took my breath away. You did good. Fishing for cows? Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Coffee. Uh. Oh, Roxanne, it was just beautiful. It really was. Thank you. Bye, Dolls. Be good to her. I'll castrate you. <laughs> I wish she could stay. Wouldn't it be great? We can go to school together next year. Beef Central High. The little guy comes. I need you here for that. You're my best friend. Daddy. Yes, yeah, sweetie. Oh, damn, I'm gonna miss you. Ready to go, honey? We gotta go, guys. Bye. Okay. See you later? Yeah. Have fun. Well, where's Leah? We don't know. Some truck. <laughs> yeah. You think red's okay? Red's the best. I don't know. It's not very Christian. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Steve. about you. Did you see Roxanne? She was here. I'm sorry I missed the wedding. I just couldn't leave the cow. Where's Angela? I just took her back to the motel. Where's Dulcie? She's out with Tony. It's her last night, so. So we're alone? Yeah. You want some dinner? Mm. I want the carrot. I'm leaving. 
leaving. I want you to know that I don't blame you or Dulcie. I just wish that I had never met you. Are you ready now? Yes. Press charge. Yes. Get him. Get him. A whale. A freak. No. But Will says, he says I look beautiful. And she does. He says I glow. or something and I yelled and Will came in and I could see it. I wish it could have been here, Dulcie. It's a blessing, it is. I miss you. Hey, Stephen, it's me. Angela, hey, great. Why aren't you working? It's Saturday. So? <laughs> Stephen, please. You know what, I need help. What's the matter? I saw one of um, Dulcie's essays, and it's, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. It's all about, I don't know, wanting us to disappear, and a cow's head, and antifreeze. And it's not that she's doing anything bad anymore. Well, that's... Yeah, She's not doing anything at all. She just sits, she doesn't, and I'm, I'm just afraid that she's, might, I don't know. What? Oh, come on. I said I don't know. I'm well, asking for your help. I don't either, I'm not. Here. No, you're not, you're not here. But I did spend the entire summer with her and she was just fine. Stephen, you son of a bitch. Don't even, hang on. It's Roxanne on the phone. She sounds upset. Mm -hmm. Dulcie, are you, are you awake? Or are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Rox, there's something wrong with the baby. Um, the, the heartbeat was, was, was wrong and, and they did some tests and they said that um, it was genetic and, um, he's gonna die. Are, are they sure? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can feel him kicking just the same as always. Here comes Will. I, I have to go. I have to tell him he doesn't know. Wait, rocks. I have to go. What? What is it? Hey, stranger. Daddy! Ah. Mm. Oh, jeez. This hypothermia. Here, put this on. Yeah. Okay. Now, 
listen. Let me stay till you Sunday, You scared the please. hell out of your mom. You stole her credit Saturday. card. You are flunking Friday. out of school. Friday night. I got a good deal on the but, ticket, Dad. I saved her a hundred bucks. But they took Roxy to the hospital a couple hours ago. The baby? I'm in time for the baby? Well, come on. Hit it. Okay. But the baby's not gonna... What? It's gonna be okay. Just don't expect too much. Sweetie. Where's the baby? They're still working on her, honey. It's time the baby comes, is what they said. So, uh, they're, um, well, what do they call it? Uh, Inducing her. But it's gonna be fine. We've been praying ever since we heard. It's gonna be okay. Hello, Stephen. How are you? It's not real. Lecture. Spare me. I'm a flunk out, a rave queen. A what? Nothing. You just scare me, baby. You don't know what it's like to have a child. It changes you completely. Before we had you, I just... I was like ice. Nothing could touch me. And then you were born, and I melted. That minute. at you and I see danger. I think, my God, she flew up here alone. She hitched at night alone. And I just want to shrivel up. You don't know. You're not supposed to know. You're 16 and you're going to live forever. And that's good. <laughs> and I don't yell. You know that. I don't make rules. But baby... Look at me. You're not crazy, Dulce. Are you? Not here. It's a boy. Ah. He knew that. <laughs> His name is William Asa Coffey III. Right. He was born at 3.12 a.m. He's five pounds, two ounces. It's kind of small. Yeah, it's Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that the little guy? Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Him? What's the tube for? That's how they feed him. Oh. I'm allowed to hold him. Would you like to see me hold him? Sure. So, um, I was, I was thinking first thing, when he leaves here, we should take him down to the quarry. You know, where it all began. Would you like to hold him? Isn't it against the law or something? The smell 
his breath. What? He's never had anything to eat. There's nothing to smell but pure life. Maybe you better take him. I am. Um... I'll be right back, okay? Spent so little time on earth, yet were ye loved. And though ye be born into sin, ye should be raised up from sin, that the grace of Jesus Christ Almighty may shine upon thy soul. In the sure and certain knowledge that ye should be born again into God's world. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In local weather. As always, David, it looks like a wet night here in central and southern Idaho. What the hell? Moving down from the river what are you doing here? Why didn't you call? She didn't tell you. What? What? I'm staying here. Oh, You're staying? She's not staying. I'm All right. staying Wait. here. You are Rocks not. Me. I'll put on a pot of coffee and we'll talk about this. I am not talking about anything. I am exhausted. I am going to bed and tomorrow morning I am flying back to the city and Dulcie is coming with me. The end. I am using the bedroom, Stephen. You sleep on the couch. Stop! You can't do that. You can't come into my house and do that. Who the hell do you think you are, Angela? If Dulcie I'm... wants to stay, we'll sit down and we'll talk about it. But she is and not And you know I'm what? Staying. Maybe she should stay. I can see what this place is doing oh, for her. please. The place. Forget me. Look at her and tell me I'm wrong. I don't have to tell, tell you me anything. Tell me this lousy little farm isn't good for I don't her. have to tell you anything because she's mine legally. Oh. Don't give me legal. Just tell me the last time she did anything for you. Willingly. Cooked a can of soup, anything, or just sat and watched TV with you. I'm going to bed. And didn't hate you! Do you know why she can't stay here? Why? Because I'll be alone then. There won't be anybody in my house. No child. No man. Just me and... I don't think I can stand that. But if you take Dulcie, I'll be alone. Yeah, That's what I was for ten years. No sounds when I came in the house, nobody else's dishes in the sink, no one to cook dinner for her. And you know what I thought about all the time? Remember when Dulcie was little? She'd play in the sink, standing on that red stool you bought her, pouring water back and forth and singing to herself. I was at your front door. Once, a long time ago. Did you know that? 
No. I could have walked in and we'd be a family now. And I wouldn't be alone. And I wouldn't have this... This regret that I cannot get rid of. This regret that... I failed you both. Because it was my fault. Not yours, Angela. And... And no matter how foolish it was, I still kept thinking maybe... Someday they'll come home. One day they'll walk in my door and it'll all be like it was before. And then Dulcie walks right in, out of the blue. And then you walk in. And I let myself think, could it be? Is it possible she's coming back too? And it'll all be like it was before. Because, you see, the thing is, I love you. And that's the truth. And we always told each other the truth. I never stopped loving you, even when I hated you. You have my heart. I gave it to you when I was young. And I can't get it back. Is that you, Stephen? <laughs> I guess I remember someone from a thousand years ago with that voice. But I'd forgotten that his words could be so... String center. Stole it. I can't stay. I know. Made a life there. I have clients. I know. I have 43 cases right now. I just can't abandon them. I know. I know. But, um, Dulcie can stay. It is better for her here. I, I know that. I do. I just... I know it. I don't want to go. I want to stay here with you. And I want things just the way they were. Dulcie playing in the sink. Just a little girl with no problem. In this place, like it was exactly the way it was. And you. Oh, and you. Huh? 
Oh, Stephen. I love this place. I loved it. And should I come and take you home this time? Um, I'm not looking. I just, I thought you should know that I actually got dressed and went outside and the fence is down again and the stupid cows are everywhere and it's a freaking cyclone out there. Jeez. You know, if I'm the responsible one around here, then we're in deep trouble. I can't afford toilet paper. Look there. Dear boss. Dear boss. Dear girl. We'll start back. They'll follow. No kidding, Captain. Dear boss. Um, Captain? I'm freezing my ass off. All right, then help me with the bed. And uh, put whiskey in the hot toddy. Deal. Thanks. get her to the butcher. Yes, I have to. I know. I'll get the tractor. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll do it. What we're gonna do is hoist her up on that. Yeah? We'll drive the truck in under her and then drop her down onto the bed after I dress her. Come on. Okay. Starting to remember why you left? Easy, dolls. This outfit's meant for hay bales. Go on back. Easy. Go on back. Back. Easy. That's it. Dulcie, baby, you okay? Hey, sorry. It's all right. Four-wheel drive. You didn't have to come, Roxanne. It's all right. All right, Will. Bring it back. Slowly. That's right, easy. Straight back. Yeah, that's it. Steven. Hold it! That's right. Everybody, now stay clear. We'll do this real quick. Hell, I hate this. Nice guy. 
cut. Get off! Steven, get off! Get down! Watch the chain. Yeah. Red truck. <laughs> 